Hey everybody, Frank with you, and today we got the Vaporesso Target PM80 SE Special Edition. What we have here is an 18650 version of the original Target PM80. It takes a single 18650 battery. You see you have some venting there. Uh, not a whole lot different than the original, except they have some more coils. You have... The 1.2 regular coil, you have a 0.6 mesh coil, a 0.8 mesh coil, so you have all kinds of different coils with it. If you do you can get the RBA base the RBA base now. We are going to, I'm going to show you down below how to go ahead and install the coil in the RBA base. And that's what I have going in here right now. Rocking out a 0.73 at 22 watts using the uh, the smart chip it says it's best between 16 and 25. Let's take a bait. gang here we go here is the Vaporesso Target PM80 SE here you have it says power boost new mesh instafire 2 amp fast charging on this side just says a sub ohm pod mod and then on the back here's all the features give you a second to check all that out all right, now we're going to get into this. And I'll put the lid off to the side. Here's what we have. We have the mod, obviously, with a pod on there, an extra pod, and two extra coils. Take this off. And now here you have just a little cover here. You have a USB 2 amp charging cable. Warranty card user manual coil installation instructions check that out there and your anti-counterfeit labeling, labeling instructions on how to you know use the QR code to see that your shit's legit and like they had in the original version these are the airflow uh, airflow grommets or airflow blockers, if you will. Little rubber tabs. All right, let's go put all this back. And concentrate on why we're here. We got, here it is, the PM80 SE. In comparison, where is all right i just had it here it is all right size comparison between the two obviously the sc is taller than the original pm80 you can tell the pm80 i used the hell out of it Finish one's pretty wore out. So it is brand new. I have some battery venting here. This comes off. We're gonna put a we're actually gonna put the RBA base in. Spoiler alert. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and we're going to take an 18650 battery. One thing I noticed they did not put was instructions on you know battery safety cord and all that you can see things you can see down in there there is a positive so it's positive up negative down 
and there you have it same chipset as the last time the only difference is as you can see the orientation of it uh, and they don't have the power band on this one as they do on the other one and also the puff counter goes to 9999 as opposed to a puff counter on the original they only goes to 999 so i got that going on and big presto sent me all their new coils well the point two we already know about that one's the one that they've used in the original the point three is with the original but they have a two mouth to lung style coils I guess you could say they have a point eight GTX coil and a and that's a mesh coil and a 1.2 ohm regular coil is what they have now in the package here you're going to get this is the you can tell how small of a draw that is that's the 0 0.6 0 0.6 ohm coil and here's the regular 0.2 ohm coil that came with the original I mean, that's a really tight little draw there I believe it's a 0.6 ohm. what did it say on the package yep that's a 0.6 mesh we're going to take this you see it's got a little tab on there i'm going to take that off put that there i'm going to put this to the side for now because i'm going to show you the rba coil that you can that's going to be available for purchase this is something we mentioned to vapor so with the original pm80 and said this would be an excellent idea and they listened I already had it out, checking it out. Comes with a little bit of cotton. Comes with the coil head itself. Typical blue screwdriver. We're gonna use, it comes with a couple of Canthal wires, some extra screws, some extra O-rings. User manual for it. I like that in the user manual, it tells you what kind of wire they use. They say it's, F E C R A L, which is Canthal, is a 0.7 resistance, 12 to 18 watts, restricted direct alone. Let me tell you how to how to put it together. But we're going to do that now. So let's set the manual off to the side. Let's set the little. I like the little plastic case that comes in. You you can use this for everything, all kinds of different things. All right, we're going to go ahead. We're going to pop this open. I want to have them going. You just unscrew and I drop it. Of course, because that's what I do. You have. Let's see if I can get close up. There we go. So you got two Phillips screws, and you see the air hole airflow right on that side all right what we're going to do now is we're going to take the little blue screwdriver they give us we'll use their stuff why not actually you know what what we're going to do i can't stand the little blue screwdrivers to be honest with you but what we are going to do is we are going to use one of their coils We're going to need to get the kind of clippers out anyway. All right, let's see if we can get the coils to come out here. Come on now. All right, put all this back. Set that off to the side. Got a little build kit. OK. 
Okay. I'm going to just unscrew these. And basically all we're going to do here is we're going to take this little coil we're going to and get this focus and get this in here to capture our leads because that's the way it looks a little screwdriver here It is a very, very small, very small coil. You can see it's spaced because Gonna need to be, it's going to need to be spaced because there's no way to dry fire your coil. Now from what I was told by Vaporesso, this is the, not necessarily prototype, but this is the first edition. Right, let's see what we can do here. Right, let's see if my fingers are getting in the way. Let's see if I can get the capture leads. And it did not. Let's try this again. Basically, we're just going to get this under here to capture the leads. All right, so you just basic space coil. I'm not sure of the gauge. I'm gonna do the cotton. Here we go. Really, really fluffy cotton. I'm just gonna. It's very, 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 very small. Come like a needle in a haystack. Break off a little bit. Definitely not used to making such a small RVA. And you gotta watch, you don't wanna 
we stored it too much because then you're going to have a problem. So let's just go ahead, cut this. Right. Like Take the blue screwdriver, push these down in the holes. Mm, Trying to drop it. Hmm. Kind of ugly. I'm gonna go ahead. We're going to take my one of my new favorite DIYs. This is Homeschool, which is an apple apple custard. Just put a couple of drops. Let them soak in for a minute. And then we're going to go ahead, we're going to take the pod. Just remember, we got that line there. It's got to line up with the airflow. So you're going to take it and you know, snap it in. There we go, snap it right in. See how the airflow is? Then you just take and right there it says it actually says open. I'm gonna flip this, turn it off to the side, 
And I'm gonna go ahead and you're gonna fill it. All right, we got it good and filled up. Go ahead and close the tab. Now to yeah, you see a difference on the that it has a a screw right there. It's your negative screw. Now it also looks good, nice and clean. Now let that soak for a minute while we're doing that. And there you have it, the reading at 16 watts. Get that to focus in. Come out to a 0.78. Of course, it's not going to focus enough for you to see that, but just take my word for it 0.78. Decent flavor. Let's go back on top. Let's vape on it and give him. Give you some pros and cons, some thoughts on the new PM80 from PM80 SE from Vaporesso. All right, guys, there you have it. There's the down low for the Target PM80 SE. Let me give you my final thoughts. Uh, I love the improvements they made. I mean, I love my original Target PM80. Thing still works great. I beat the hell out of it. Use it all the time. They, in my original review, I said it'd be great if they had an RBA base. Well, guess what? Now they got an RBA base, and it works well. It doesn't leak. Uh, the wicking isn't real difficult. You know, you got to use some space coils because there's no adapter or anything. So kind of like we had to do. If, had, if anybody out there has a bill box and or even a build box you know the sxk and it came with the kanger sub tank rba base there was no adapter you use a spaced single wire coil for the most part and you know you install it and you vape away and they work great i mean you get excellent flavor so it's the same you know same principle here uh pros cons not not a whole lot really to say i mean it's i mean it, I mean it works if if you want something that has an 18650 give you a little bit better battery life than the original you know it's a little taller but the form factor is still nice uh say these you know these four mil pods work great you know you put snap your coil in there if you don't want to use the rba rba base they have tons of options now for coils whether you want to close off the air holes and use you know the 0.8 or the 1.2 mouth along coils or even a 0.6 you could probably close it off a little bit but let's say this is a 0.7 you know 0.73 and you can see i'm getting i'm getting really getting good flavor i'm really impressed just for basic canthal wire another thing about the rba base you know they tell you that it's canthal wire so you're not playing a guessing game which is excellent. They they tell you the material. They must have been listening to some of the other, some of the other reviewers when it comes to that. Because you know a few of them they have some pet peeves as far as that goes. Uh, I don't know price. Uh, didn't really look and see if this is out yet. Uh, I did see a couple of other reviewers have reviews up for it. It's you know it's new. They have a this one come you know this one's coming out. The Target PM30 is coming out, which is more of a mouth to lung. Uh, let's see these GTX coils that you know it comes with and you can buy are you know great coils really really good coils and I'm not just saying that because they sent this stuff to me they're really good coils I mean and I don't use a whole lot of you know sub ohm coils it's just when you when you can build on you know an RDA or something you know you don't you don't need them but these ones are really good if I had to buy them again and if I had to buy them, yeah, I'd buy them. Yeah, I'd, especially if the price is right, I'd definitely buy them. And from what I've seen around, for the original ones, you know, the, the GTX coils, 
You can get them at a decent price. Yep, that's 22 watts. And you say the flavor is spot on. This is my apple custard, my homeschool. Uh, it works out great. It works out great. I don't know. There's not a whole whole lot more to say. I said it's a really nice, really nice device. I want to thank Big Presto for sending it my way. I'm just going in my daily rotation. I'm going to be using this every single day. That's why it's called daily rotation. You know, it's still small enough to fit in my pocket and I have to worry about it getting in the way when I'm loading and unloading and walking in the yard. Uh, I'll probably still keep this one in my rotation too. I'll use both of them. Here we have, you know, money liquid in this one and a different one in this one. I mean, the flavor is good enough that, you know, you're, you can taste what you're vaping on. And that's what we all want anyway. All right, gang, in closing, like I've been saying, be safe, wash your hands, don't talk to strangers, and we will see you on that next video. Bye, everybody.